2019 was a first for me. I NSF'd in my personal checking account three times, yet saved more in my holding company more than I've ever saved before. How did this happen? The reason is, is my wife and I run our joint checking account where everything comes out of extremely lean, meaning we've figured out our BAM, that's B-A-M, bare ass minimum. And what the bare ass minimum is, is the living expenses we need. That's the mortgage payment, that's Shaw Cable, that's kids daycare, etc., etc. We figured all that out. And what that number is, is exactly the number that we pay ourselves with a little bit of a cushion. So if we do a month properly, we should have about four to five hundred dollars extra at the end of a month. Now what happens is, is why I NSF or why we NSF is you throw a kid's car seat, stroller, etc., etc., in there, and all of a sudden you need to manage your expenses well. So Although anytime we need extra cash, if you go on a trip or whatever, we can go take the money out of the corporation. If you autopilot the savings via your payroll in conjunction with BAM, you will find that you save a lot more money because you don't pay it out to yourself. It usually, once it's in your joint checking account, poof, it'll find a way to disappear. So the takeaway is asking yourself, do I need extra money? If not, then leave it in the corporation and let it grow inside there. Yes, your small business tax deduction can be eroded once you're making 50,000 or more in income from investments in your corporation. So until you have roughly a million dollars in your corporation making 5% return, don't worry about it. But the more you can leave and grow in your corporation and invest in real estate, stocks, even in something liquid, you will be deferring tax and you will be saving more, which is the biggest, hardest hurdle to overcome.